Chapter 8, question 32. Now we're getting into one about uh, sort of pricing on warranties. How should a company do it? Um, and what they found is their, their quality control research has showed that 0.7% of their products, less than 1%, will fail after the original warranty period, uh, but within two years. Now, if it fails within the original warranty period, we're going to assume that it gets fixed under warranty and goes back to the customer. So we can assume that the probability of a fail that it gives us is 0 0.07, 0.7%, sorry. We, we do is we, um, we divide that by 100. 0.7%, when you divide by 100, it moves the decimal back the other way. Okay, So it's going to be 0 0.007, very small percentage. Uh, the percentage that don't fail, we'll just put not, not fail, is going to be that subtracted from 1. So we're going to do 1 minus 0.007. And if you put that in, you'll find that you'll get 0 0.993. That's pretty good reliability, we think, 99.3%. Um, so let's see if this warranty deal is going to work out for them. So we've got this as a probability, 0 0.007. We're going to multiply, hey, that's 007, James Bond here. Oh, sorry. Um, but we're going to multiply this by what the company would have to pay out. They're expected to have to pay out $350 because of the failure. However, they received $48 from this person for the warranty. So the net result is they actually only end up losing $302. So when we multiply these, this gives us a result of negative 2.114. Okay. If there's not a failure, what ends up happening? Well, we got this percentage, 0.993, and then we end up, or the company ends up, getting all $48. They keep it all. They didn't pay anything out. Um, so we multiply that out, and we get $47.66. Four cents. Um, this is the first number was negative. This is positive. So when we add these together, we get a net result of forty-five dollars and fifty-five cents. So that's their expected value. If they sell a lot of these, on average, they're going to make forty-five dollars and fifty-five cents. So that's. Uh, and they probably pay out a commission, sales commission for the people who sell these extended warranties. But this is what they know. They're, but the way that works are they'll make $45.55 for every warranty sold.